Alright, so to create our uh, spark belt, we will use the asset from Action Essential 2. Uh, the name is uh, Spark Sparks number 6. We'll drop it down into the timeline, obviously. And we're gonna move it down to the bottom of the composition. Scale it down a little. And we're gonna duplicate this layer and move it to the side of the first layer. And we will repeat this process multiple times until we end up with a belt, sparks belt stretching from the left to the right. So as you can see we created this belt but it's kind of boring it's kind of uniform so in order to make it more random we're just gonna move each layer on the timeline so it starts at different times so each layer starts at different times creating this uh, randomness okay so once we create the belt we will uh, select all the layers and we will pre-compose them. We are going to name it Spark Ring because that's essentially what we are creating. In effects we will type polar and we'll grab polar coordinates and drop it onto Spark Ring. Now in interpolation we will type 100% and under type of conversion we'll choose rect to polar. And here's the circle, here's our ring. We'll uh, duplicate this layer four times and we will rotate each layer 90 degrees. The first one will be 90. The second one will be 180. The third one, 270. And we will leave the last one the way it is because if we rotate it 360, it's basically gonna end up in the same position. So there's no point of doing so. Right now we will go to layer and we will uh, create new null object. And we basically want to uh, animate the rotation of null object. Once we animate the rotation of the null object, we want to parent every single layer, every single ring into that null object. And we can simply do it by uh, the menu or we can just grab the web tool and drop it onto the uh, null layer. See, uh, we get the same result. Okay, right now we will uh, add motion blur to each layer. Okay, select all the layers and the null object and pre-compose it. and drop the footage of the street into the composition. So now we have uh, our ring and the street uh, footage of our actor walking away from the camera. Uh, make the layer of the ring 3D and position position the layer uh, so it looks like it's in front of the actor and 
Now go to layer, new, create null object once again. And this null object will control the movement of the ring uh, on the street. Make the layer 3D. And animate the position of the null object. We basically want the ring to start in front of the actor and end up behind the camera. The, the ring will uh, pass the camera eventually. And there we go. The ring is moving towards the camera, past the actor, and eventually past the camera. Okay, so right now we will duplicate the layer, the ring layer. And we will name it Core. Uh, we will change the mode to Add. Uh, we will uh, create a mask inside the, the ring. Okay, and we will switch it to sub subtract, subtract, and uh, let's expand it a little bit more. We'll create the second mask outside the ring. And we will change this to subtract as well, but we will hit invert it. This way we separated the, the core of the ring only. So it's basically this hot spot inside the ring. That's what we were going for. Okay, so in the effects type. Exposure. Drop the effect onto the core layer. And increase the exposure to 50. <laughs> Duplicate the ring layer once again. And let's rename it, uh, let's add blur, ring blur. In effects type blur. And let's drop Gaussian Blur into the Ring Blur layer. We'll increase this by 200. So that's kind of add some type of glow to the ring. If we want to increase the uh, glow, we can simply uh, duplicate the layer. Okay, so right now we will uh, select all those four layers and we'll duplicate them. We'll move them below and we'll pre-compose pre them. We go on to name this uh, reflection.
make sure to parent it to null. Go to transform, uh, yeah, make it a 3D. And rotate it on X rotation. Rotate it 90 degrees and pull the layer down until it hits the ground, until it kind of gets uh, below the ring. Scale it up a little bit. Like all those settings, they really up to you. They really, uh, there's really no rule. Grab the Gaussian blur again and drop it onto the reflection layer and increase the blurriness by 100, I would say. The mode, switch it to overlay. Okay, so duplicate the street layer. Change the name to uh, street, street mask. Position the layer above all of them. Position it on the top. And simply draw a mask around the character. you will want to animate the mask and draw it around every single uh, frame. Obviously, for the purposes of this tutorial, I am not going to do it because it will take me forever. Alright, so there you go. This is my uh, rough idea of how to uh, re replicate that uh, effect. If you like the tutorial, please like it, please subscribe, please comment, please